I'm Allison Coe, and I'm coming to you from Portland, Oregon. I'm a hypnosis practitioner here in Portland. I practice a few different types of hypnosis, one being the quantum healing hypnosis technique made famous by Dolores Cannon. The other is the beyond quantum healing hypnosis. And um, basically, the beyond quantum healing allows me to reach beyond my own surroundings and have remote sessions with people all over the globe. I have been doing quantum healing hypnosis techniques solely for about three and a half, four years. And then I started doing the beyond quantum healing. And right at that same time, right when I was kind of trying out the beyond quantum healing, a couple things changed in my life that made it so I was I naturally transitioned into just doing a remote session. So I'm still trained in the quantum healing hypnosis technique, and I still practice it sometimes, but for the most part, I only offer beyond quantum healing hypnosis sessions right now. At some point, that will change, uh, but that's what it looks like right now, just because I can't have people in my home at this point. Um, I've been going through some transitions in my own personal life, and then I've moved several times, and it's just... Right now, I just want my environment to be my environment, and my environment is pretty dang small. <laughs> so there's that. No one else can fit in here but me and my daughter and, you know, whoever, <laughs> whoever's small in stature. So basically, I kind of wanted to speak to you about the efficacy of the remote sessions because I receive email after email after email about that subject in particular. You know, do they work? How do they work? So let me talk on that really quick. The, the remote sessions go something like this. The client and I uh, connect via audio through the, through the phone, and we talk for a few hours about their life. What's going on with them? What are their relationships like? Where do they live? Who, what are they, how are they spending their time? What are they doing for work? How is their health? These kind of general topics about a human. What is their spiritual connection like? What are they struggling with? And then we go over a list of questions that they provided me. You know, usually it's a day in advance or something. They provide me this list of questions. I peruse it ahead of time. And then we go over that list during the session and we add to it if necessary. Usually, usually in every session we add to this list because sometimes there are topics that maybe they didn't realize could be on the list or maybe they just forgotten the topic entirely, um, which can happen very often. And so we, we add to their list and we also use it as a scaffolding to kind of fill in more background if needed. And then we talk about the hypnosis, what that looks like, you know, how many, what the stages are, what other people have experienced. And then we head into the session. All of this is done over the phone. And guess what? The connection is powerful. But it also has something that my in-person sessions don't have. And that is the lack of frazzlement, <laughs> if that's a word. This lack of arriving at a session completely frazzled because you've just had to get up, you've had to fit in a meal, you've had to get ready, you've had to try to adjust for traffic, you've had to try to find a place that you've never been before, you've had to leave, you know, maybe come into the city, maybe spend thousands of dollars renting, you know, flying in, renting a hotel room just because you match that pr practitioner. I have met clients like that, and almost all of them arrived to my house a little bit just kind of shaken and, and frazzled because maybe they couldn't find the place. And it's not like my place was super hard to find, but it's just some place new. Having to do a whole bunch of things, steps, new, and already the anxiety about a session anyway added to that. And so the remote sessions don't have that at all. People can wake up, <laughs> literally wake up, or depending on where they are in the world, get off work, you know, take it easy for a little bit, and talk on the phone for a couple hours. That's how easy it is. You don't have to get up, put on makeup if you wear makeup, you know, find, you know, get the directions to my place, find my place, call me when you can't find my place, have me drive and get you, <laughs> which I, I've done all of these things before because they were necessary at the time. 
But the whole point is the client's relaxed, much more relaxed. I'm much more relaxed. But most importantly, the client is much more relaxed. I can relax either way because I, I don't have to find my place. I'm already at my place. So then we proceed with the session. And I used to offer, when I did remote sessions, I used to do um, mostly video when we started the hypnosis. But what I found after doing that for about five or six months was that most of the time when we did video, I would not actually see the client. I would, the, the laptop or the iPad or what have you would be pointing at the ceiling or the floor or their dog would come in, come in and lay on it or their cat would come in and lay on it. Or one time I had a whole session with a big green blanket that covered the laptop the whole time. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm just, I'm totally, it looks like this green blanket is actually having the session with me. So what I realized from doing those is that the video doesn't matter. What matters is that we can hear each other because even in my, my regular hypnosis sessions, you know, in-person hypnosis sessions, the client's eyes are closed the whole time. We're just hearing each other. That's what we're doing. We are still connecting, but we're hearing each other. And so that's what these sessions are all about. It's about the connection. We don't have to be in the same room. We don't have to look at each other. We have to be able to open up and share. That's what's so important. And that's what's ever present in these sessions. Now, as far as the efficacy of them, I would say that they are extremely powerful, extremely powerful. They allow for each client to get healing, relief, guidance, clarity in the same way that my quantum healing hypnosis sessions allowed for. The batting average, if I, if I were to give myself one, would be probably 95%. Nine, 92 to 95%. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's not 100. And anybody who, who says that their success rate with, you know, getting clients down into these levels is 100, I would, I would be suspect of anybody who said that. Because we, we don't learn from that. You know, not everybody is ready for a full session. They may think they are, but they're not. And the reason we find that out is because we'll hear from the higher self later, you know, once a client comes back or what have you af after a, um, only a partial session, we'll hear later and the, the higher self will say, they weren't ready for a full session. They needed just that piece of information that came through the past life portion or the experience portion, as I call it. They needed that piece of information. They didn't need to connect to the higher self or they needed to work on this or they needed to work on that and then come back for a session. And so these are all designed for a purpose at a timing that is perfect for that individual. And sometimes that means that that individual tries to have a, a successful session, but it doesn't happen in the way that they think is successful or I think is successful. But lo and behold, we find out later that was exactly what they needed right when they got it. All right. So batting average, 92, 95, same same as uh, in-person or, or remote. These are powerful sessions. The other part that I love about these sessions is this. After people have done a hypnosis session, they've usually been in it for about two hours. They remain pretty floaty, pretty out of it. Now, when I was doing in-person sessions only, I would usually only get a couple of minutes with my client after the session ended because I'm always on childcare duty, you know, so I have to always go pick up my kid. I felt very lucky that I had a job where I can fit it right in between the time when I drop her off and the time when I pick her up. And th those are my margins. I have a margin right there. And, but the clients may not be ready to, to leave, right? They're pretty out of it. So some of them would have to sit in their car and wait for a while. Some of them I would just let sit in my house and wait for a while. You know, they're pretty out of it. I, I never felt truly comfortable with that. Um, but I had to rush, you know, boom. and with remote sessions, I would say it's a lot different because the client 
can re- can come back grounded back into this reality at their own pace without rushing off without leaving my home nothing so i always love that part um i think it's very powerful so what i would say about these remote sessions is give it a try give it a shot if you would rather do in person sessions find a great practitioner someone that you resonate with and try it out and i don't know Try it out. Go with what you feel. But I would say the efficacy is just about the same. The relaxation and ease is something that I found find to be so, um, they lend itself to, to a different level of success with these sessions because we're, we're just kind of more at ease, you know, and it flows better. The energy flows better. So I just, I just absolutely love, love these sessions. and. Um, I would like to be able to offer in-person sessions again at some point, but right now I just can't. And uh, so if quantum healing hypnosis is something that you want and you only want an in-person session, there are tons of wonderful practitioners out there. If you want to try a remote session, even if you live in my area, man, try it out. Because even if you live in my area, that kind of morning rush kind of feeling Oh man, save yourself some, some frazzle, <laughs> some frazzle, give yourself some dazzle. <laughs> no, that's stupid. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. So anyway, I hope this helps you. Maybe it'll, maybe it won't, maybe it'll make you more confused, but I have so much fun in these sessions. We, my clients and I connect on so many different levels. The sessions are recorded no matter what. Um, I love them. And if you want to give them a try, schedule a session. I have um, several, I have tons of dates available and everything. So look for one if you, if you feel like it. All right. Much love. Bye-bye.